Hi all, and welcome to my little uh, vlog here and slash tutorial on how to get GTA 5 working on your computer, specifically if you have Bull God installed. In the description below, you can see all my specs that I have uh, on my computer, and if your computer is similar, uh, this may work for you. I'm saying may work for you. Um, as you can see, my computer here is is uh, is a stationary computer. Um, it is uh, it only has one Nvidia GeForce card in it, uh, and uh, yeah, there's more, uh, plenty of um, uh, tutorials out there that's telling you that you have to um, turn off your Nvidia GeForce uh, and stuff like that. But that's only that can only work if your CPU has an internal graphics card or internal GPU in it but of course stationary computers nowadays do not have an internal um, uh, yeah graphics card in it but for me you can see my specs on my computer below if yours are similar then this may work for you I found out that um, my computer uh, is uh, oh uh, that's the wrong one When I try to start um, uh, my uh, my GTA, uh, it um, whoops, wrong place over here. It wouldn't start um, at all. Uh, see here, I think this is the one. Right? Yeah. Nope. Here we go. As you can see down here, you can see uh, my uh, launcher, but yeah, let me just... Right here, GTA, GTA launcher, right here. Uh, yeah. And then go one up, and then it comes with this. It's called the... BEX64 BEX64 that's the uh, uh, that's the problem it comes up with but if you get that uh, if you get that error message good for you then uh, so, uh, something works on your computer i have to go in here on the, this uh, in order to see this error i didn't get any error message whatsoever um but that error right there the um, the BX the BEX sixty four. It's not only a graphics error. It can be a multiple uh, uh, things. As you can see, it is a BX sixty four. But you see the type right here, type nineteen. That is my bull guard. Uh, the error just says that um, something tried to start but didn't. That's the uh, BEX64. Then there's the type, minus a 19, and that is my bull guard. Let me uh, just close out of these and get up bull guard. This is my bull guard right here. If you have the same type of bull guard as I do, uh, this is the bull guard internet security system. It has everything. It has the firewall, it has the antivirus, and all manner of things. The thing you have to do is go up into uh, um, settings, click on uh, your settings may be uh, like this basic, click on the advanced settings, then over here click on um, yeah main page, and then this one down here. For me it's uh, in Danish, but uh, for you it should say something uh, in the law uh, in the lines of um, you know what. I have an idea. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Give me just a second. I will just need to do that. Uh, yeah. Right now I'm up. Here we go with you. 
God damn it. There you go. Bulgard up. Yeah. This one up. Here. That. Enter. Okay. Let me read out what uh, this here says. Right here. Oh. Yeah, I don't need to turn it off. Uh, advanced mode, main page. This here in English, this uh, right here, says allow Bulgar to protect its component against termination. Allow Bulgar to protect its own combination uh, against termination. You need to turn that off and then restart your computer for uh, GTA to work. But that only, uh, that's only for me, it works for me, it may also work for you, but that is only if, yeah, 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 Somebody, fuck you. sorry about that, yeah, but that's only if your type is 19, as you can see in here, right, the BEX64 type 19. If yours is that, then this will work for you. If it's not type 19 uh, and it still works for you, please write it in the comments below and I will uh, figure out why it works. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's uh, go back again step by step so that you can see what it is I'm doing. That's all. Yeah. I'm just gonna close down these. We're gonna go step by step, okay? First, you don't know that I am running a Windows 7, right? Okay, cool. Go in here, control panel, administration, logbook, Windows Logs Programs, double click that. And under here you see all of the programs installed on your computer. If they have any uh, error message or anything, it will come up here. As you can see, I need to scroll down here a little bit in order to find the right one. That's not the right one. Uh, here. Error Application. Windows error reporting. These two are the ones that uh, is uh, responsible for um, uh, the GTA error. And further down here, I got another. Nope, I need to go a little bit further down still. Even more. Here we go. GTA failure. GTA failure. Another one that's not the GTA, but here. GTA failure, GTA failure. So yeah, it does a ton of these every single second. So here you find it, GTA launcher. It's a launcher version that and that. Unknown module. And up here it says what type of error it is uh, or uh, what kind of error it is and what, uh, what type. Yeah. Cool. And that should help you when you start up Bullguard. It comes up like this. Uh, settings. Advanced settings, of course. Under general. For head, uh, head page or first page. Allow Bullguard access to protect its components against um, uh, termination. You need to turn that off and this thing will pop up. You need to restart your computer at, uh, uh, in order for settings to take effect. I don't need that, yeah. Stop. And that should help you 
start up DJ5. Yeah, you can uh, try and copy that code all you want. It's not going to work. I've already used it. See, mine starts off perfectly. It loads in Social Club. It then skips uh, this one pretty fast. And let me just... Let me just add the game. See, it works perfectly for me. And of course, I will be doing uh, Let's Plays of this. I'm actually thinking of um, doing a full month of Let's Plays on this. And then I can now I can quit settings, random job, online and uh, story mode. But I'm just going to say quit. So yeah, I hope this little tutorial works for you. Uh, if you don't understand some things that I say or yeah, you want a little, a little bit more in depth, please write it in the comments below and I will uh, help you as best as I can. If this goes totally awry for you and you're telling me, hey, I'm doing it exactly as you do, but nothing happens and I'm having the same issue exactly like yours. I can uh, maybe take some time off uh, in the weekends and um, help you through Skype uh, if you have a camera or uh, share your uh, screen with me on Skype and I can guide you through there. But until now, just write uh, your comments in, uh, in the comments below and uh, also I have a link in the comments below to where I found out about uh, the bull guard and I, I would like to give him a shout out. I have a name up here right above the little tree there uh, I'd like to give a shout out to him for, uh, and thanking him for Finding out this issue that helped me get GJ5 to start on my computer But yeah, as always Thank you all so very much for watching your support and as always catch on the flip side <laughs>